celebration. We are so happy to have all of you here with us today just celebrating the anniversary of Friendship Village and how wonderful we are, right? for you. We have singing, we have dancing, we have a variety of things. So they will be judged in those three categories. So I... Thank you. 
to keep the singing going with a little extra treat with our Mr. Dave. It's simply unfair to put an old man up against a young lady in this It's simply unfair.
next contest contestant will be Miss Joanne. You will recognize this face at the Friendship Village Care Center reception desk. Come on up, Joanne.
angelic voice, right? Yeah. All right. Next, we have a bit of a comedian coming to the stage. Let's welcome Paul. I don't have very many talents, but I could play the radio, and I can play the TV, and I can play hooky, and I can fiddle with my ear. <laughs> but my real talent is telling jokes, so you're stuck with that. Okay, I have three heavenly jokes to share with you today. It seems there were a series of disasters, and several thousand people showed up at the pearly gates all at the same time and the lord himself met them at the gate and he said we need to do something different here today what well, men i want you all to line up in two lines one line those of you that were truly the head of the house you made the major decisions you exercised your your god-given role as as head of the house and the other line is for the men who were, well, handpicked and, you know, any rate. And women, you go with St. Peter. Now men, line up. So in a couple of minutes, there were two lines. One line had stretched to the horizon. It was almost everybody. They were the ones that were handpicked. <laughs> and there's only one guy in the other line. And the Lord says to him, how did you get to be the only person in this line? He said, I don't know, my wife told me to stand here. <laughs> well, the second heavenly joke, George Bush died and went to heaven. And George had always had this idea, he'd like to talk to Moses. So he asked St. Peter when he got there, uh, can I have a, an audience with, with uh, Moses? I'd, I'd really like to compare notes with him. Peter says, well, you'll find him around. Uh, he, he's kind of a, a tall guy, a long white hair, big staff in his hand. Looks a lot like Charlton Heston. <laughs> so uh, George walks around and finally he sees him one day and he starts to walk towards him and Moses sees George coming. He quick goes the other way. This happens three or four times. George keeps trying to get close to Moses, and Moses just keeps getting away from him. Well, one day, George finally trapped him in a corner, and he finally caught up with him, and he said, Moses, I'd really like to visit with you and compare notes. And you and I were both leaders of a great nation, and I think we have a lot in common, and we'd like to talk it over. And Moses says, well, that's all right. But the last time I spoke to a bush, I took I just had to spend 40 years in a wilderness. <laughs> the last one's my favorite. Forrest Gump, you remember him. Forrest Gump died and showed up at the pearly gates. And Peter said, welcome Forrest, I'm glad you're here. We do have a little bit of a problem. We've had a lot of people coming up here lately and, and we just, we're a little bit behind on admitting people. We need to give you a test. Uh, three questions that you need to answer. Forrest said, well, I thought I took an awful lot of tests when I was back down on earth, but I guess one more wouldn't hurt. So Peter said, are there three questions? First question, how many days of the week begin with T, and what are they? Second question, how many seconds are there in a year? Third question, what is God's first name? Forrest says, well, I, I need a little time to think about that. A couple of those, I, I have to figure those out, okay? Peter says, you're going over there and, and sit on that bench over there, and when you get ready, you, you come and tell me. So a little while later, Forrest comes back to St. Peter and he says, I think I've got them all figured out. So Peter says, okay, first question. Which days of the week begin with the letter T? Forrest says, there's two. Today and tomorrow. <laughs> Peter says, but not the answer I was expecting, but I'll have to accept that. 
Okay, how many seconds are there in a year? Four says, it took me a while to figure that, but I finally counted, there's 12. 12 seconds in a year? How do you figure that? Well, I counted them up. There's January 2nd, February 2nd, March 2nd. Okay, Peter says, I, I hear you. Uh, not the answer I was expecting, but I'll have to accept that. Last question, what is God's first name? Four said, oh, I've known that for years. His name is Andy. Andy, Peter says. I didn't know that. Uh, how did you know that? Well, that was in that song that my mama told me years ago. She taught me, Andy walks with me, Andy talks with me. <laughs>
stage is none other than Ron. You will see Ron working on refurbishments on apartments. You'll just see him smiling all throughout Friendship Village. So come on out. Okay, I, first off, I'm going to put a disclaimer out there. Last night I went to the Cardinals game. Go Cards! Still, go Cards. Thank you. Got one card stand in the house. <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, did a little screaming, did a little yelling. So, anyway, so I, that being said, I'm uh, going to ask Larry and Reese if they'll come up and give me a. No? Okay. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Anyway, anyway, this is a song everybody knows. You've heard it for many, many years. Um, and you have to forgive me. Because my memory is about as long as my hair. I <laughs> can't remember words very well. Um, so I'm going to use a little cheap seat here. Um, I'll just do this. So, anyway, if you would, Maestro. One, two, three, four. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, we can technician gets back to her control room. This is a poem I wrote some time ago. I titled it Bear Rock. And the refrain goes, Oh, have you seen that giant rock a standing all alone? No trick of fate. Its purpose now, its purpose now is known. Two Indian boys played shinny ball. They chased it out of camp. Their bows and arrows took them far across the field so damp. An animal they heard and tracked while getting further still, then played with pebbles in the stream. They stopped to drink their fill. The hill they crossed to look beyond adventure was their goal. At dark they stopped to sleep a while as tiredness took its toll. For days they wandered further still, choked cherries were their food. They yearned for warmth and family, their thoughts of home renewed. When in the distance came a bear, so big it blocked the sun. No place to go, no place to hide, they had no place to run. To Tenkashila went their prayer, a miracle ensued. The earth rose up, as did the bear, its claws it did extrude. The boys atop the rock did stand as bear claws break the wall. At last the bear gave up the chase. The tower could not maul. With no way down, returned to camp, not likely from the dome. Their friend, the eagle Wanbly, came on talons, took them home. Oh, have you seen that giant rock a standing all alone? No trick of fate, its presence there is purpose, now is known. <laughs> Devil's Tower in Wyoming. The <laughs> true All right. Next we have a dancing duo. You'll recognize Belisa and Yanni.
over me, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, uh, both both New York Jews, Paul Simon and George Gershwin. So that was Paul Simon, still crazy after all these years. So. Beautiful. Thank you so much. All right, and now we will hear from our last contestant of the day, another familiar face. Harry, come on to the stage and sing us the song.
it. <laughs> Greg just shared. How many of you have seen the movie The Lorax? Have we seen that, Dr. Seuss? Right, that's Hunger. He just said Mike's mustache looked like the guy, the Lorax. Oh. <laughs> All right. I think we still need a few minutes for the judges, am I right? Yep. All right. So just to talk a little bit about the uh, categories. Again, we have singing. There's so much great singing going on. We have dancing. Again, wonderful routines. And our surprise guest, Miss Jean. And then we have variety, so that's going to encompass on the piano playing and the joke telling and, and all those good things. So we will hear from our judges who are working incredibly hard in just a moment. Stage. All of our contestants, come on back on stage.